Okay, everyone, so uh, I'm pretty much almost done. I'm just like semi final stages. So I pretty much wrapped everything up. Uh, still a little bit to go. Like, you know, there's the sensor shop wire, and I don't want to go, like go crazy. I placed it over here. It's supposed to be like in somewhere access and uh, where you can access it because there's a turn knob over here which uh, you could use a screwdriver or something and turn the knob so you can adjust the sensor and uh, the rest is all this wiring uh, I used a, a wire tie uh, so the one more important thing the most important thing is like whenever you do uh, this, um, the connections it's the best way is to go with soldering but like I didn't have a solder and many of you don't like or might not have solder so you could you know just uh, uh, go to good quality tape you know go to good wire stripper and uh, you know make sure there's enough wire that's and then you really like connect it really properly give it a couple of wraps and then use good quality tape don't use those cheap electrical tapes use a good quality tape so you get a good like secure connection so you know it doesn't go bad in the long run so remember take the time no need to you know haste it or get frustrated because uh, this thing is going to take time and if something's not working, just go back and see what's not working. And you know, first the initial thing should be like you know, don't make permanent connections. Just you know, connect them as a, like you know to see if they're gonna work or not. And then you know, uh, that's how I do it basically. You know, first to make like normal connections and uh, just see if it's working or not. So I don't have to go back and you know, like this is hard. Like this is like a permanent thing. With I don't want to go cut and like separate. So it's gonna take so much time too much time consuming so to save your time and your know your hard work and effort it's better to make first regular connections and then check everything is working then you know make good and permanent connections that you know are good for the long run you don't want to make sloppy connections that are going to be down you know down the road are going to be bad for you so that's good so uh, like all this wiring it's like this is for the horn and i'll explain all the wires one by one uh, just to give you an uh, like I cannot really go in deep uh, but definitely you're gonna have to do some of the research uh, depending on what kind of car you have and like that launch system they provide you with really good uh, sorry about the mess but like here they give you like this is a colored copy for the IGAR thing and it has like the basic main things and this one is basically almost the same it it includes the one which has the color copy and this one is a little more detailed in it so yeah you can see like you go through this in really detail and try to understand everything uh, but most of it I'm also gonna explain so it's gonna be quite easy for you how to do the connections and everything like I already did the research and you know highlighted everything which I needed which I didn't I crossed it out and like some of the internet stuff which I got from here was also really useful thanks to all those people you know who share their knowledge the same way as I'm doing so it's always good to share your knowledge you know help other people out so like this is cheat sheet kind of thing uh, uh, for like that's the 2002 one but you could find the 2001 like every model is different like this one I used it as a uh, you know like a reference kind of thing so uh, I know what should be done like uh, many of the models like have uh, almost similar things but like over here uh, like my vehicle like the 2001 BMW 525i it has ignition but it doesn't have I mean ignition one but doesn't have ignition two so uh, there's a brown wire for um, the starter kit but you don't use that and over here there's two like some of them have two three uh, you know 12 volt wire so it depends on your car and uh, what kind of uh, wiring you have so but most of them which I saw they are pretty much the same like these are correct but it's always good to better uh, you know double check and make sure and always use if you have uh, you know I just have Mm, let me see. Sorry, I gotta find it. Oh yeah, right here. So it's always good to have you know, something like this, uh, a multimeter, voltmeter, so you can check, you know, all your stuff. Uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be really cool or something. Just the basic one, which can tell you if there's voltage or not in that connection, and you know, for negative and positive triggers. So these are all the lock and unlocks. I mean, you could look over here, pause the video, and you know, check, you know, whatever the stuff, or you could go online and print out something just like I did. And so, 
Another thing is, uh, you, if you want to do the parking light thing, it's, uh, you're going to have to follow this one. Yep, this one. So it's basically you're going to have to add a relay to your parking light uh, because if you cut the thing then it's going to be on constant uh, voltage so it's going to keep on, it's going to be on basically. And so you're going to have to alter it and uh, like you can see over here. So uh, use a relay to, um, like you can read the instructions and pretty much follow everything what it has to offer and you're pretty much good. And like I said do your research and before starting anything you should have everything marked up planned know what to do so it's easy for you to work on the system and you know not get lost and but um, I'm gonna help you too because I'm already, like if you have the same vehicle as mine but you're probably in good hands because I already did all the research and you know on YouTube you don't really find I like I like I tried and I couldn't find anything specifically uh, in order to install this stuff for the BMW because it doesn't have a separate like a you know identity link or a mega link uh, for the bypass module so you have to use uh, this one the right one over here the 566 I believe UW uh, transponder so it goes all the way over here to you know distract or interrupt I mean sorry interrupt the uh, original transponder which is right over here if you can right here the green thing it shows over here so and uh, that's about the thing about okay okay so let's go wire by wire let me just take this out so probably you're also gonna get this so you know just pay attention to this so this is also important this uh, this is a DIP settings so over here uh, let me see if I could get it on over here like right away here you can see so one two are up and three four and five are down and six is up again so this is the setting which I have on my vehicle so basically uh, if you look at over here so it tells you all the instructions so it's up to you how you want to it's like customization how you want to put it so usually the six is always down because we don't have, our car doesn't have a, a return current it doesn't need that and for five it's a manual transmission not up you have to put it down because we have an automatic so this one is basically because uh, you know sometimes I have the family with me so uh, I like to keep it down because unlocking it's like if it's a single pulse it's just gonna unlock the driver's side but it's I put it as a single signal twice so that's gonna uh, send two signals which is gonna unlock the driver's seat first then it's gonna unlock the uh, other doors the passenger doors so that's how that is and let's see so yeah these high frequency antenna and uh, the two other ones are the for the PKE so uh, so the high frequency one is right over here uh, it should be sorry let me focus or it should be over here somewhere around here like it shows over here uh, the high frequency one could be mounted either over, over here underneath the steering or somewhere around here where I did or over here right to the column uh, you know the uh, driver's seat's column but over there I didn't want to place it because I already have the this the pad the touch pad so that's why I placed it over here so this is your high frequency one and it goes over here and the red one and then these are the two PKE ones which are uh, the range ones which when you come close to the car it uh, unlocks and when you go away it uh, locks the car so there are two of them one has a long wire and one has a short wire so 